Hi, I am Greg Winkler, Artistic Director of Peninsula Players Theatre, and I'm here with Ashley Lanyon and Harder Klingman, two actors who have been with us for several seasons, and I'm very happy to see you. How are you guys doing? We're great. And Excellent. Where are you? Uh, we're in Minnesota, uh, in Lionel Lakes, Minnesota, at my parents' house, so the house that I grew up in. Oh, nice. It looks beautiful. On the, on the deck. It looks beautiful. And Harder has uh, a pot of flowers coming out of his head. Oh, yeah, that's intentional. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful. So, um, Harder has been with us, has done four shows with us. I think that's right. Saloon, The Full Monty, Alabama Story, and Lord Arthur Savile's Crime. And Peter and the Starcatcher. Yeah. Oh, of course, and Peter and the Starcatcher. Yep. And uh, Ashley has been in Lend Me a Tenor, Nonsense, The Full Monty, Bridges of Madison County, A Murder is Announced, Ghost, and Silent Sky. Yes. Yes. Oh, good. Good. Oh, I know. The Hollow. Can't forget The Hollow. The Hollow. And The Hollow, yes. <laughs> Not for three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so you've done uh, a bunch of stuff with us. And we've loved having you up. And uh, during the time you've been with us, you've had, there have been some performances that didn't quite go so smoothly for various reasons. I know one of them was in Lend Me a Tenor, Ashley, with you, which had a lot of doors. Yes, yeah, because it's a farce, there's a lot of doorography to have involved the comedy. And I remember, the summer that we were doing it, it was obvious, it usually gets pretty humid up in Door County, but this was a especially humid summer. And we had been struggling in previous shows, but nothing that was like completely unmanageable. But this show, it was a moment where I was supposed to be bursting into the room to confront Matt Holtzfein, who was playing Max, playing Tito. It was, so he's, layered there and uh so it's supposed to be bursting in and i can't and i go to like open up the door and the door won't open and matt is waiting on the other side of the door and this is also a door that as if harder and i were standing right here and the audience is out here so there's no like they can see us both on either side and that there's just a door right here and so they're seeing me struggle with the door and then i decide also this is my first show at the players i don't know i didn't know this is like a normal thing that happens with the doors so i was kind of like uh okay <laughs> I, I in my brain i was like do i knock like do i knock to tell matt open the door and then i just decided to reach my arm around <laughs> cue the laughter the invisible wall i reached yeah. through the wall to open up the door on the other side, which then Matt is staring at me with the, the classic Matt Holtzfein, like. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we, and then I remember there was a lot of, a lot of door surgery that happened that summer. Yeah, It was like breaking the fifth wall. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, because we're inside and outside, uh, it's, and we're right by Green Bay, it can get very humid and the all the wood expands a lot yeah. and those things happen and then it happened again in ghost when you were doing that the musical yeah and that's a com that was a completely different door that i mean obviously we always have different doors but like that was a sliding, sliding door. door like a farmhouse kind of door and this was the very last show it was the only time harder was seeing the show i watched the whole thing it was beautiful <laughs> and there's a the way that um, the set that Je Jeff Komet created, um, I, the apartment, Molly and Sam's apartment, would enter in from stage left and it was this sliding door that I would like fake a, a key to then push it. And I remember kind of like hearing something the seconds before, so I mean, cause some, this is also when like there's somebody breaking into the apartment. Mm -hmm. It was poor Esteban Cruz. Yeah. <clears throat> and so, and I heard like something didn't go correctly. Like mm -hmm. it, I just, I could feel that. And so then when I went to go to the door, it was like, <sighs> like mm -hmm. a total shoving, um, which also made me be like, oh no. And then I went, I didn't, I remember not closing it completely because I did not want to force whatever was happening to it to actually happen. 
Um, I go off stage. Like I do my business on stage, go off stage. And then Esteban still has to leave the stage through the door. And that is when I start <laughs> hearing like, gung, 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 because the door has completely come off the hinges. <laughs> so, Mild curses underneath his breath. <laughs> so not only, is he, not only is he trying to rob the apartment stealthily, but he also now has to put the door back on the set. I'm which I don't think he ended up... He was unsuccessful. Yeah, he did not no. do it. And then poor Will, who's playing Sam, has to, like, go through a door that's not even on the, the frame. <laughs> like, that big moment where he's like... And then... And then Cody... the interns. No, okay. no, it was Cody and Nate. Oh, okay. Yeah, came yeah. on stage in, like, like a 15-second scene shift where they were like, like put it back on its uh because ro- it was a rolling door kind of thing and that was and then the show continued on and you went on yes we did we did there was, that was it. <laughs> last performance yeah that, it was like oh and you were something, there yeah there's always something funny about the shows that players that the, either the set or the costumes something knows that it has a limited amount of time that it needs to work Mm-hmm. And then it all starts breaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe it'd be different if we had three month runs, you know, or something. It's like, <laughs> we know we have to get through a three week run. Let's do this. And then <laughs> things inevitably, something <laughs> small yeah. breaks down. Yeah. Now, uh, Harder, you had a sort of a, another sort of mishap happened in the Full Monty, but it didn't involve doors. No, it no. It. it the, uh, famous situation that involved lighting and you can imagine the the, the in the full monty the uh these six men who form this this intense camaraderie and you're rooting for them intensely by the end of it and uh it culminates in a in a flash of light and we strip completely naked and the the light is supposed to mask you know, backlight us hard enough that we're you're not supposed to be able to see anything. Yeah, the backlights and, were very intense. Exactly. And that night, first night, the of, opening our, night yes. of our run, uh, <laughs> the lighting cue was a second late. And so shorts come off, we're completely buck naked, <laughs> and then the lights go up. And it was just enough so that so that everyone in the audience got like maybe thought they saw something, but, yeah. well, <laughs> but, but didn't yeah. have time to sort of uh, uh, for it to soak in really. You know? well, we um, since it was our first uh, public performance, Greg, who was directing it, had done a really good job of having those strip rehearsals like pretty closed, like so the other people in the show weren't really there especially when like when they were teching it when and when, when they were rehearsing it so the female ensemble like just, just the other players in the show oh, yeah. we had never seen that scene before like to the full extent of it um mm-hmm. and so and we are actually all in the house with the audience like right. cheering on doing everything and uh so we're, we're all really excited to see this moment too that like this is what we're this whole show is like culminating towards and and it happened and Never have I felt the urge to jump out of my body. I literally like felt like I was trying to jump out of the theater, like because the sides were. Leap I'm standing next to the sides, like. Ah! <laughs> well, they all fell down in that oh, moment. Oh my god! We like hit the deck because I was like, "That was not it. That was not, what was supposed, to not happen. supposed to happen." And, <laughs> but it did. It did. And and it became an infamous story. I think on the county. Uh, throughout that run so that people would come weeks later and leave the performance beaming but also asking uh, various staff you know I thought we were going to see more (laughs) I did have audience members uh, that night who saw that performance who said oh no 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 they could have they could have stayed up there longer (laughs) sure (laughs) yeah William uh, Collins, our stage manager, who was responsible for calling that like he was, oh, 
he felt so bad. Oh, he felt terrible. He he came backstage, you know, within I think within a minute, he just ran backstage to apologize to all of us, and he's got tears streaming down his face, and and all six of us are in our our robes. We're still we're still naked, but we're covered up, and and we're sweating, and he comes in and I just said, Oh, that's unacceptable. We like, this is the risk that you run with this show. Everybody let's bring it in, bring it in for a group hug. And so we hugged, uh, uh, William. <laughs> he needed that. He needed that comfort in that moment. Yes. Yes. Well, that was, um, thank you for sharing those stories. Theater is always an adventure. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have never in my whole career ever been in a performance where something didn't go wrong, even if it was just <laughs> a, a line thing or a glitch. But that was a big one. I, did, I remember uh, after that moment, uh, you know, you guys up on there doing the strip were very concerned about that moment. But when the worst happened, you were like, okay, <laughs> we're still here. That was the worst. We survived. It's and then crazy. after that, it never happened again. No. Yeah. No, the run was so easy after that point. I felt, I think we felt fearless. You know? Fearless, yes. Yeah. Yes, everyone was good. You guys had planned a wedding. We, yeah. We did. We were planning to get married uh, in Door County on July 2nd this year. Uh, we have had such an affinity towards the county since, honestly, like our first- Since we met. Since really, we met. I talked and about it. Actually, yeah, our, our second day of meeting, he made some comment to me uh, about, well, you need to work at Peninsula Players. And I was not living in the Chicago area, so I had no idea of the Midwestern regional theaters. And, and so I kind of was like, in Wisconsin? What's yeah. what? <laughs> and, uh, but then I started working there about a year later, and I, our lives changed because of it, because of the the space that allows us to create and connect mm -hmm, with others and each other. Mm -hmm. And, and so because of that, we chose to get married up there. Now with what is happening, uh, we made the really difficult, but ultimately correct decision to postpone our celebration. Uh, we are still going to get married on July 2nd this year, but here in the, in the beautiful backyard, uh, but we're going to have a big party next year. And where are you right now? We're in Minnesota at my parents' house, yeah, ah. which is crazy. It's actually where we met. Uh, yeah. So say, over six years ago, Harder was on a tour with one of my best friends and my parents invited her cast over for dinner. And so I met Harder when he walked in the front door of my childhood home. And so you're gonna have the celebration there on July 2nd. Well, we're going to have our, the ceremony here. The ceremony. So for, yeah, we'll get yeah. married here, and then we're going to have our celebration on our one-year anniversary, so next July 2nd. And that'll be up in Door County. Up yeah. in Door County, yep. Yeah. And we're so excited just to be able to have all of our family members come and experience, which most of them have already um, visited because of coming to the players, but to really experience Door County and the beauty and charm and people yeah. the restaurants the the wildlife the culture of it yeah That's we cool. wanted to share all of the aspects of the county that we love with the people that we love mm -hmm. so so as you were going forward all of this happened uh, the situation in the world and you decided to postpone and then you did an announcement to uh, get that across yes yeah we so we decided we wanted to let people know a couple months ahead of time so on may 2nd we sent out this video to all of our um our guest that was it's john prines in spite of ourselves and it was a multi-reason why we chose that song um it was a way to honor his passing because mm -hmm. uh due to covid and due to this current situation that we're all in uh john prine passed away but his music uh is has been inspiring to both of us for quite some time and and we really loved the cheekiness of this particular love song that he wrote she don't like her eggs all running 
She thinks crossing her legs is funny. She looks down her nose at money. She gets it on like the Easter bunny. She's my baby and I'm her honey. I ain't never gonna let her go. He ain't got laid in a month of Sundays. Caught him once and he was sniffing my undies. He ain't too sharp, but he gets things done. He drinks his beer like it's oxygen. In spite of ourselves, we'll end up sitting on a rainbow. Against all odds, honey, we're the big door prize. We're gonna spite our noses right off of our faces. There won't be nothing but big old hearts dancing in our eyes. Convict movies make her horny. She likes ketchup on her scrambled eggs. Swears like a sailor when she shaves her legs. She takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. I ain't never gonna let her go. He's got more balls than a big brass monkey. He's a whacked out weirdo, but a love bug junkie. Sly as a fox, crazy as a loon. Then it comes, he's a howling at the moon. He's my In spite of ourselves, we'll end up sitting on a rainbow. Against all odds, honey, we're the big door prize. We're gonna spite our noses right off of our faces. There won't be nothing but big old hearts dancing in our eyes. In spite of ourselves, we'll end up sitting on a rainbow. Well, guys, Ashley and Harder, thank you so much for being with us today and sharing those stories and reminding us of what live theater can be about. And we will catch you later. My pleasure. <laughs> and thank you for being with us. Bye-bye.